Good morning, America. I'm Charles Gibson. I'm Diane Sawyer, and it's Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. Mike. It was a normal day in what we do in the respects of the old guard. We completed that funeral and then made our way up, up the primary hill in Arlington Cemetery, and we're staging for our secondary funeral. It's 8.52 here in New York. I'm Bryant Gumbel. We understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at... We do have some breaking news that we want to bring you right now. We're going to go to a picture, a live picture from New York City. Apparently, a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. As we were watching the coverage, you see the second plane hit. We knew it wasn't an accident. It was an attack. Sergeant Chisholm, our wheel rider, actually said, hey, look at that plane. All of us looked over and, and saw the plane. We see a lot of planes flying above Fort Myer, but this one was, was out of place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're looking at a uh, live picture from Washington, and there is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. I'm Sergeant First Class Michael Creedon, um, and I'm assigned to the Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. On 9-11, I was Specialist Shield, assigned to the Fife and Drum Corps, stationed at Fort Myer, Virginia. My name is Colonel Retired James Laufenberg. On 9-11, I was the Regimental Commander of the 3rd United States Infantry, the Old Guard. So, I was getting ready uh, to do a small team show. We were doing the rehearsal, and uh, a uh, one of our soldiers came in and reported that the uh, the Pentagon was hit by a plane on the heliport side. Now I, I realized that my wife worked in that exact location, so I called numerous times, but the none of the cell phones were working that day. You know, they, all the lines were uh, pretty much hosed up that day. Somehow got through to the uh, CQ desk. Uh, and I remember hearing somebody yell, Mike, it's your wife, she's alive. So I ran to the CQ desk to get the phone and I talked to her and I immediately began crying because I, it was, it, she was pregnant at the time, it was the start of our family, and you know, that would have really changed my life. There's, there was a lot of anxiety. I just put, talked to the DCO, the deputy commander, and we put the regiment on alert. We called everybody back as quickly as we can. Maintained funerals in the cemetery, but pretty much stopped all missions, um, and put, put the regiment on alert. Essentially, he said, we're sorting things out, but get your medics down to the Pentagon. Approximately about 1600 that afternoon, we got word we needed to go down to Fort AP Hill to pick up refrigeration trailers for the bodies. Well, they had us, I believe on the following day, get on trans and go to the Pentagon site. That was an experience. I remember the embers that were emanating from the Pentagon and the smoke. And I also remember the smell of jet fuel that was present in the air. And I also remember the light posts laying in the grass that had been sheared off by the plane as it had come down. I, mean, I literally, with my driver, rolled in just behind the medics. I mean, at the Pentagon, and it was, it was, it was chaos. What happened? My, my initial reactions were, how did this happen? The, the scene there is one that will forever be etched in my mind. After 27 months in combat, it's still remains as one of the most dramatic things that I've ever seen in my life. The flag that was flying on that site was so stunning. Being in the, in the regiment gave me a unique opportunity to help out in a way that 
I was very grateful to have that I might not otherwise be able to do. The day as a whole brought about a, a new aspect to our mission for the Army and what I immediately understood was going to be a different mission for the Old Guard. It is a life-changing experience and it definitely taught me that the Army, when they respond, we all kick in. I spent a lot of time thinking about this um, and I really think 9-11 is the starting point of this particular regiment being transformed into the formation it is today. Thank you. I mean, you, you, you responded brilliantly. You got the job done. Never complained. You were part of something that nobody wants to ever have to do again, but you performed your job brilliantly. And I, I, as the commander at the time, thank you from the bottom of my heart.